going on guys, it's Gospel Lee. I've got a book review for you. The title of the book that I'm reviewing today is called Crowd Start, The Ultimate Guide to a Powerful and Profitable Crowdfunding Campaign. It is by Ariel Hyatt. For those of you guys that do not know, Ariel Hyatt is basically the queen of online PR. She has a online PR firm called Cyber PR where she manages brands, bands, and private clients. She consults them on all of their digital marketing and PR needs. So, first heard of Ariel Hyatt on a couple of different independent musician podcasts. I was really blown away by all the practical wisdom and knowledge that she was dropping in regards to PR and marketing. And so I started following her on Twitter and then when I realized she had a book out and it was about crowdfunding, I just had to review it. So I asked her and she said yes. So this is my perspective as an independent musician who has done, I think, a couple of different crowdfunding campaigns and raised a couple thousand dollars. This is my unbiased review. The book was awesome, like absolutely awesome. Absolutely loved every single page of the book. I, I was just floored by just the book as a whole. It's probably the best book I've read on crowdfunding. And three reasons why this book stood out to me, three reasons why this book was so amazing. Number one, the book was incredibly comprehensive. Like the book really covered the entire universe of crowdfunding. Even subjects and topics that you might not even think would be related to crowdfunding, like psychology, like what is your frame of mind when it comes to crowdfunding? funding what's your overall idea it really just touched on everything in between like all the things that you would need to get started from the idea to after the campaign has closed like everything in between and all kinds of stuff that you don't even think about the second reason why I loved it so much was the stories really made this authentic so she's throwing out a lot of information and best practices you should do this you should think about doing this you might not want to do this but what gives it legitimacy is she brings her personal experience in behind that so she says you know you probably should think about doing this when I did this this is what happened and I got this success you probably should steer clear of this when I did this it really wasn't the best and then she added just personal stories which helped me to connect with her as an author and as a person like it established a personal connection when she's talking about her worst day and why she got started in PR and when she's talking about how music saved her life these personal stories helped me connect with her on a human and on a personal level. When you're hearing these personal experience stories and also personal stories, you're getting connected to her as a person and as an artist. And uh, the advice that she's giving almost carries like a different weight of legitimacy because of those personal experience stories and personal accounts from her past. The third reason that I love this book so much is because of all of the supplemental resources and materials. If you've never done a crowdfunding campaign, she's giving you all of these resources, sample emails to send, sample checklists. There's all these different materials that she's giving you so that when you want to start your crowdfunding adventure, you're fully equipped because she's giving you so many supplemental resources and checklists and things to remember. And even just like a 30 day guide and a two hour, you know, two hour a day productivity sheet, what you need to be doing each day for two hours to have a successful campaign. It's just incredible, all of the resources that she gives you. I think that she could have made a separate book just with the resources, but it's all included in the book. So bottom line, if you are serious about doing a crowdfunding campaign and you want it to be successful, I would suggest getting this book. Ariel could definitely charge through her company a lot of money, and she does, a lot of money for this kind of consultation, but she's condensed it down into a book. And so I really, really think it's worth this small investment, $35 or 30 bucks or whatever the case is, the link is in the description. It's worth that investment because she could charge so much for this. It's definitely worth your money. It's worth the time to read this book so you can put on a great campaign. I'm still going to read it and refer it to all my friends because it gives you all of the best practices and tips to start a successful crowdfunding campaign. That's my review. I would highly recommend it. The book is in the description. Go get it and have a great campaign. You can tell when you read this book that she's put everything into this book because she wants you to be successful because she's giving you all the tools. Get the book. It's a great book. And that is my review.